Hello and welcome to another quick walkthrough of a couple of little features and featurettes that are available in the ArcSight security correlation platform. Uh, in this case, we're going to be digging a little bit more into ESM specifically and a couple of little hidden features. Now, most people are aware of uh, what it looks like here. You can see it's, uh, it's black lettering on a white background. And this this question came up a few times so uh, can we change this and as of uh, version 6.11 you can uh, it's actually available as a theme you can now just drop the view menu down and you can see that I, the default is the light theme and I can change that to a dark theme uh, it's very simple and very easy just select the dark uh, what it'll then do is it'll ask you to restart the console so you just let it restart and then log back in again and hey presto, it comes up in the dark theme. Um, there is no major change into the way that the system operates, uh, what it looks like and what it does. It just changes to a different theme with regards to that. You'll notice there's a, uh, obviously the colors have changed. A couple of things will change now. You'll see that it's easier to see the priorities. For example, uh, if we look at the uh, an active channel, uh, you'll see that the, the data there it's a little bit easier to see with regards to uh, some of the colors and some of the lightning symbols and the separation between the uh, particular types of, uh, in this case, that's priorities as well. So uh, in general, not a major change, uh, but it's actually pretty easy and pretty simple. Uh, some people like this. Uh, it's worth noting that there are some changes you can make to the JVM as well. Uh, we don't encourage that. Uh, that makes some uh, changes to the way that the JVM operates, uh, but you can change that too. It's worth noting as well that you can change some of the other options with regards to some of the settings. Yeah, you know, for example, we can look at some of the windows and how they're working, but more importantly, uh, what we can do is we can actually dig into some of the settings. So, for example, if you go to Edit Preferences, brings up the preference menu. Uh, we can change the way that how, which are uh, bro, um, in this case example, uh, browsers and so on you, you uh, operate with. You can change some, uh, some of the ways that the dialog boxes work and some of the locations. You can change some of the fonts as well. If it's too small or too big, you can get more on there. And you can change some of the coloring options within that as well. Uh, date and time obviously is from, from a regional point of view. Uh, and then you can change how, say for example, some of the event graphs are shown with the colors. Now, I'll deal with event graphs a little bit later, but it gives you a very easy way to make some of those changes. Now, the way that it saves those changes is by installation unless you've made a change to the way that the console is installed. What that means is uh, it will actually save it in the install directory against the user preferences for that particular install. Um, unless you installed it on install it says is this a multi-user install at which point it'll then just put the preferences in the user folders for that particular logged in user. So it'll differ according to who's logged in. Uh, simple thing but just Bear in mind that if you see that and it suddenly starts changing, most likely it's because somebody else has logged in and made those changes. Uh, I hope this has been useful. Uh, I hope you like the new theme and uh, good luck using the console. Thank you.